What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Today I wanna to talk about fleet accounts. Uh, fleet accounts are in the fifth generation a lot easier than the fourth generation. Um, let's check it out. I'm just gonna select an existing customer. Um, let's say we're gonna call Bell Tire. Bell Tires. So do not, first of all, do not uh, like make customers as a fleet account unless they are a fleet account. With the fifth generation, you can make as many payments as you want on any invoice. So if somebody want to make multiple payments on an invoice, you can do so. But fleet accounts, keep fleet accounts to only uh, uh, to a fleet account where uh, somebody drop off, uh, like a body shop is drop off their cards and, you know, he's paying you a monthly or whatever the case is the first step you need to make that account to fleet account so what you need to do is just click on edit and just go to more options and you see it check make sure you check is fleet account and make sure I mean you can put it as a business obviously in this case it's the business and if you want to tax exempt him you can and say why let's say resale and tax ID and just click on save and now we know that Bell tires right now is a fleet account Let's say I'm doing alignment for Bell Tire right now. I'm going to click on authorize and then click on authorize. And then when I click on pay invoice, it's going to give you two options. If the customer is there and he just want to pay for it, you can do so. Or if you want to have his own account, you just click on post to statement and then click on confirm. Once you do that, what happens right now, we're gonna go to fleet statements right here and this is our all accounts right here. So this is Bell Tire. Um, his total is $76. He only have one invoice and he hasn't pay made any payment. If I click on it, it's gonna show me all the invoices. Um, I can make a payment right here or I can view the payments. Let's create another card real quick just to make sure. Um, let's go to Bell Tires. Assume Bell Tires brought us another vehicle and uh, let's say, let's just select it manually. Honda Accord. And let's just say we did all change and alignment on this vehicle. Authorize, click on authorize. Once we're, I mean, do not authorize unless you did, he did authorize it. And do not pay it or click on pay unless it's your all set from the vehicle. Even though you still can edit it, but just, you know, one step at a time. So at this time, when I click on pay invoice, again, it's going to give me the option. It's going to tell me pay now or post a statement. If I click on post a statement, it's going to tell me how much he already owe us and how many invoices on hand do we already have and his current balance and his new balance. If I click on confirm, it's going to give me the total, his new total and the new how many invoices. So let's go back to the statement. And I'm click on bell tires right here. I'm gonna see there's two invoices. If I wanna edit, I still can do so. I'm just gonna click on that. And let's say I forgot to add something. Um, let's say he wanted, um, oh, forgot to add diagnosis and I just, or towing in this case. And uh, let's go back and just make sure you authorize the additional cost, authorize, and then exit. And once you exit, it's gonna update that account for him. So now he owes us $269. He hasn't, um, he hasn't made any payments. And if I want to make payments, let's talk about payments right now. So let's go back, go back to fleet statement. So I have two ways of making a payment. I can pay by in each individual invoice, um, which means if I click on that and I click on pay invoice, I can do so. Pay invoice, pay, and you can print it. And if I exit, what happened, it's going to take the invoice out of the statement and post it so there, there's only one more invoice but let me show you in case there's multiple invoices let's just create another invoice sorry um let's go back to i know i'm going uh, fast but that's the only way it's so much uh, to cover you can always rewind the video so that's the beauty of video um, build tires so let's just bring up another card again and just add whatever authorize authorize pay invoice post a statement confirm and let's just go back to fleet statements and let's just make payments so this is all the invoices going to be a list of invoices right here 
if I click on pay, let's say you only paid me twenty dollars and click cash pay. So what happened is going to post that payment and add it to the first invoice, which is going to say partially paid. Um, if I click on view payments, I could, I can print or email or save the statement. If I want to make another payment, say two hundred dollars, cash. Again, see now the first one is already paid and the second one it's partially paid. Um, if I click make a payment and I pay the whole amount and now both of them are paid. Um, let's just go back if I want to look at the fully paid statements it's going to be right there and I can see that. Um, let's just save it real quick so I can show you how it looks like. I never liked uh, the whole fleet statement uh, from the beginning, but I understand there's so much money. People are using it to the max uh, because it's a fleet account. Fleet accounts are good when you're slow. That's the beauty of fleet accounts. Um, let's go back. And that's how the statement's going to look like. It's going to show them the invoice number, when it was created, when it was closed, uh, the VIN number if it has a VIN number and uh, the status of it it's paid and it's going to show right there uh, the number of invoices how many payments it was and his total balance due is zero zero and it's going to show him the it's going to print out the the payment method too so so that's it uh for today about the fleet accounts uh, until next time thanks for watching